Um, Hostilius wants war. He wants to, Tullus Hostilius wants to fight war because he wants to, to prove something. He's young, he really likes war, his grandfather was a war hero in Rome, so he feels like he's his grandfather's grandson, he needs to prove it. And uh, he goes, starts looking for excuses to fight anybody around and he, he manages to make the Albans start a war with them. But before the war would go on for long, the king of the Albans die. And the Albans choose a dictator by the name Metius Forfitius. Now, um, I welcome you again to my channel. In this channel, we explore ancient texts. And ancient texts here, I mean texts that have been around for thousands of years. We try to find interesting stories and knowledge from these texts. So if you've not subscribed, please subscribe so that you don't miss uh, any video that I upload. And that also helps me get a bigger audience. Um, now, the Albans, their king is dead. Um, the Romans still are in war with them. Uh, Tullus Hostilius is is really interested in this war. Now, the Albans have a new leader, Metius Forfitius, who is a dictator, he's not a king, that's how Livy describes him. Now, now there is a huge battle that is, is coming up between Romans and Albans. And uh, Metius sends an envoy to Tullus, and he, Tullus Hostilius, the king of Romans, and he tells him, um, I need to have a conversation with you before we start the battle. Um, I need to, to suggest something to you. And uh, Tulu says, it's fine. Now, both armies come to where they were to fight. The Romans uh, are on one side, the Albans on the other. And um, Tulu and, 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 and Metius meet and they have a conversation. And Metius tells um, Tulu that here is my suggestion. Instead of the entire armies fighting, why don't you pick three men from your army? And I pick three men from my army and they fight. And the side that wins, we, we take it to be that they have won the battle, or the war, in fact. And the side that loses has to agree to the terms of the winner. And um, Tullus listens to these suggestions as he's like, yeah, fine, I have no problem with that. Let's sit down and draft um, an agreement over that, because we don't want people to be like, oh, we didn't say that. So they sit down, they draft a treaty or an, an agreement, they sign the way they used to do during those days, which the way Livy describes it included maybe sacrifices or things like that. And the agreement is done. And now the Romans pick three brothers and the Albans pick three brothers and they go to the middle. The rest of the armies uh, stand aside. And as they are standing aside, the six men start to fight, three versus three. And they fight. And um, not long after the battle begins, the two Romans are killed. And now we have only one Roman facing three Albans. Uh, now this this uh, Roman that is remaining standing, the fortunate thing for him is that he has not been injured even for a bit. The other three, the Albans, are, are injured. This Roman went by the name of Horatius. Hora, Hora, now, Horatius is the only Roman standing. Now the Romans are worried. He's one guy versus three guys. But he starts initially starts running and the romans are worried this guy is fearing and he's running away so it's like we are done but it turns out it is a strategy he runs so that these guys and he knows they are injured they start chasing him but they will chase him in in a line so he runs for a moment and then he turns back the first one is close to him he deals with him before the second one comes he kills him the second one comes he kills him and the third one comes he kills him and the romans win the Romans win the battle, and now the Albans, their king, sits down with the with the king of Romans, and the the Albans agree that yeah, we've lost. Now you are the winners. We are under you. We will do everything you want us to do. And Matthias asks um, uh, asks the king of the Romans, uh, what do you want me to do? And he's like, just wait for um, for information or for messages from me. I will require you to be on standby. I might call you to join us in another campaign with another nation. So that ends up like that. But Matthias is going to have a lot of problem with his own people because his own people are going to blame him for the loss. They are going to be like, you allowed us to lose a battle that we didn't even fight. If we had allowed our army to fight, maybe we would have beaten the Romans. But you went there, you suggest this and we lose. So they have this um, negative feelings towards him and he, he at the end of it he decides to do something and we're going to talk about that in another video.